for Trump. I go, I go for Donald Trump. Me too. I go, I go for Trump. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump. Trump too. And why is that, ma'am? He the best president ever. Has Barack Obama done anything for around here? And no, these he never did anything since he's been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump the best. Barack Obama? Man, I ain't got no message to say on. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. No, nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. Yes, the person who posted this video, this is what she wrote. During the Black Caucus meeting at the DNC convention, the radical speaker said, we got 70 days to act right. After 70 days, we can go back to acting crazy. So they and me, they are just lying to voters to swear moderate and they admit that they and their policies are crazy. That is the truth. You help them say it. It is important. People see what these people are doing. We got 70 days to act right, y'all. That's right. Now, after 70 days, we can go back to acting crazy. <laughs> right? We got 70 days to act right, y'all. That's right. Now, after 70 days, we can go back to acting crazy. <laughs> right? Barack Obama done anything for around here? and no, these he never did anything since he's been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump the best. Barack Obama? Man, I ain't got no message to say on. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. No, nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. And Barack Obama ain't black. Just to let that be known. All right. <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? I don't f with her either. Yeah. All Trump. Trump all day. Yeah. What's your message to Donald Trump today? Keep going. Keep going. Come get us, man. We waiting on you. I'm a Trump supporter, man. We gonna keep this going. Trump, he a real businessman. I'm a real Republican, man. I want Trump back in office, second term. What would be your message to Barack Obama? I don't know, pump some money in here. Pump, pump some money like Trump, you know? <laughs> your message to Donald Trump? Come on, man, get us to the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make America great, man. That's all I can say. Make yeah. America great. Man. Everyone's so friendly around here. Yeah, Everyone's actually. so friendly around here. Hire me, me, diverse. I'm going to be interviewing people. Yeah. You're supposed to be somewhere chilling. Bro. I need How chain you game. Go? Like this. Here we, in the Here we go. Here we go. What's up? What's up, my <laughs> guy? Who we need up in there? Who we finna let drop a bag in the hood? Who we want to get the bag hey, back going in the hey, hood? Y'all know we gonna need Trump in that joint. Y'all know we gonna, gonna need Trump in that joint. Y'all go, got a deal what's I'm going retired. on, man. I'm yeah, I'm taking <laughs> over Benny show, man. It's Odie, man. I'm a YouTuber, man. Y'all get at me, man. But everything Trump over on this side of town. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You can go everywhere. You see how dry this motherfucker is? We need Trump, boy. Whatever it's gonna do to make this flow back, man, get it up. Uh, uh, let's get it going immediately, man. Benny, who you going for, Benny? My president is making America great again, Donald okay, Trump. I'm going with yeah. Trump too. We got right. yeah, That's what I'm talking about, right man. Right Amazing. I need the job with you, man. I love Chicago. It's my long lost twin, man. <laughs> Separated at birth, man. Better tattoos, better style, <laughs> better, tattoos. better hair. We both good looking, man. though, man. That's all that counts, man. Better Ball. teeth <laughs> and a better ride. Uh, yes, Kamala Harris has a big problem. This is Obama neighborhood. Benny Johnson, which I appreciate for putting out this video, he went around, asked questions, see the response. A lot of people are awake. They are seeing what is going on. Some have changed their minds. Suddenly, Obama can persuade you on his page to a level that if you are not intelligent enough to know who he is, you will easily switch your mind. Someone tweeted this, Michelle Obama, we don't get to change the rules, so we always win. Elections not going your way, rip down every guardrail to prevent fraud, not winning. Over the electorate, replace them with a flood of illegal foreigners. Supreme Court says your plans are fraudulently unconstitutional, pack the court. Afraid of the guy you are running against, invent new crimes to throw him in jail. Michel just named the central operating principles of the Democrat Party. We have seen that during this past period, what happened to Trump, and it's still even going on. In all these speeches, as good as they were, is that she's in the White House right now. Democrats have controlled the White House for 12 of the last 16 years. And for all of the talk about division and the problems in the country and people are hurting, Democrats have mostly controlled this country. Trump had it for four. 
the Obamas and Biden had it for the rest of the time. And somehow, it's still all Trump's fault, and somehow she hasn't been at the center of it. So to me, that's still the glaring hole in this campaign that hasn't yet been solved at the convention. How do you explain all of the problems that will be solved by the person who is currently in there for the last three and a half years who is supposed to already be working on solving it? But He's right. They are blaming Trump in everything. Even as he has not been there, they will blame him. Like today, the fake job record came out. It is actually concerning, which I'm going to do a segment because this is a big issue. At the very top of that to-do list is the need to get big money out of our political process. Billionaires in both parties should not be able to buy elections, including primary elections. I want to know, I want to know, who's going to tell him, who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Yes, I was shocked. Mad Wild reportedly spotted undercover at DNC in White Dude for Harris Shed and Politi. The, the more they see her, the more they're going to like her. I saw what she did in the Senate. We served together for four years. She cared about families. She could work with all kinds of people. And she was effective in getting things done. One of the things she pushed, which we succeeded in, was $35 insulin for our senior citizens. Now we're going to get it for everybody. What's your response when Trump takes credit of that? Trump takes credit for so many things he doesn't do and gets the blame for a lot of things he does do. He's, he, he's lost his bearings, as we can see, day by day. DNC day two, I want to show you the most embarrassing moment today. You might not have seen some, but I have a compilation of all the clips. What trigger a lot of people, Michelle Obama says, the presidency might just be a black job in DNC speech. I believe you heard this. And you know Obama. My name is Dr. Joey Perella, pronouns she, her, hers. I'm a proud resident of the Garden State. I'm proud to stand with Kamala Harris and Tim Walz because they stand with the LGBT community. It's time to turn the page on Trump first. Thank you. The other side knows it's easier to play on people's fears and cynicism, always has been. They will tell you that government is inherently corrupt, that, that sacrifice and generosity are for suckers. And since the game is rigged, it's okay to take what you want and, and just look after your own. That's the easy path. We have a different task. Our job is to convince people that democracy can actually deliver. And, and in doing that, we can't just point to what we've already accomplished. We can't just rely on the ideas of the past. We need to chart a new way forward to meet the challenges of today. And Kamala understands this. She knows, for example, that if we want to make it easier for more young people to buy a home, we need to build more units and clear away some of the outdated laws and regulations that made it harder to build homes for working people in this country. That is a priority, and she's put out a bold new plan to do just that. <laughs> On health care, we should all be proud of the enormous progress that we've made through the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Providing millions of people access to affordable coverage. Protecting millions more from unscrupulous insurance practices. I, I noticed, by the way, that since it's become popular, they don't call it Obamacare no more. Yes, I don't know if you have seen this. Obama is speaking entirely in abstraction. He has nothing to say about the achievement of the Biden-Harris administration because they are known 
Obama is good at politics. He is very aware that Kamala has zero record to run on. Reason, you can see how he is putting out his speech in a way that if you are not up there, you will not get this guy fraud. Obama claims that we can secure the borders without tearing children away from their parents and keep our streets safe while building trust with law enforcement and the community and eliminate bias. This speech truly reminded America how Obama used clever speeches, amazing vocabulary, and phenomenal charisma to manipulate an entire nation into supporting messages that destroy it. That is the truth. He understands exactly how Obama always do. And people fall for it. At this time, this should not really move you because when it comes to a speech, Obama can stand and do this for over a long time. California, how do you cast your vote? Mr. Secretary, the great state of California passes at this time. California passes. Great state of Nancy Pelosi. I come from a state like our nation of dreamers, of doers, of entrepreneurs, of innovators that prides itself on being on the leading and cutting edge of new ideas. California is the most diverse state in the world's most diverse. We are seeing how businesses are leaving California. Gavin Newsom is just standing here to have a voice. It is insane. Just look at the cringe people. Max Waters, Nancy Pelosi standing in the same place. And they even rejected to pick up Kamala. That should tell you something. AIC and Bernie Sanders are actually, let me not say it, if you like what I'm doing here, please share out the video, it will do you no harm. Uh, Vice President Harris's running mate Tim Walls is stage tomorrow night. The campaign is having to clean up some comments he's made about one of the campaign signature issues uh, having to do with reproductive rights. Um, this is what Governor Walz said on MSNBC while criticizing J.D. Vance. Take a listen. J.B. Vance knows nothing about that. And then he keeps going into all of these things. Today's IVF day. Thank God for IVF. My wife and I have two beautiful children. Now, it's, that's not accurate, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, he, it wasn't well, IVF. Uh, it was a different procedure. And his wife, Gwen Walls, the first lady of Minnesota, is taking care to tell CNN that they actually used a procedure called Intrauterine insemination. I, IUI. 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 It's a process she described as an incredibly personal and difficult experience. They did use fertility treatments. It wasn't IVF. Any woman. Come here, Sergeant I'm, Major. I'm, I'm sorry. A speech from Michelle Obama that I have to say is one of the best convention speeches I've ever seen mm. by anybody in any circumstance. Um, not just because she's good at giving a speech, um, but because it was subtle and deep and thought-provoking and surprising. Um, she did make a parallel point with, that her husband made as well in his speech uh, about how this is going to be a close election and how there are practical things that need to be done. But her speech, speaking from a place, um, both a practical and very heartfelt place about what it is to be a person in politics, what it is to be a person in politics, when you feel like you've got the momentum, but also when it feels like the momentum's gone, and when there's despair around your prospects, and when you make mistakes, and what people need to do to shore you up in that moment. Very um, unusual, I think perfectly delivered, and just a, a stunning speech. The Goldilocks, they're not perfect. All, this was a masterful act of leadership. It was a sacred task. They took it on well. Uh, it was like an, an, an oasis. Uh, I didn't realize I had been in a spiritual desert until they created that oasis on that stage, and they did a beautiful job tonight. David? The money in politics is so extraordinary, which is something that should have never been allowed. It is like a joke to me. Excuse me, sir. Trump or Kamala? Mm -hmm. Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Damn Kamala.
Kamala Harris is in office right now and has not tried to do anything about the border, has not tried to not tax people on tips. For some people, it's already started. But, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris,